Crew tracker is online. Where's my crew, Sam? I'd like to know that too. Locate crew. How do I do that? Ah, it's up here now. Whole new tab. Okay, Jim. Elias. Oh, we get their date of births here and birthplace, Glasgow, Scotland. Life data corrupted. Location Rus Air, so like Russian arm, but air? Yeah, no live data at all. Captain Jim Elias is located in the Russian arm. I am unable to determine his exact location. How is he? Any vitals? There is no biomedical data being received for Captain Jim Elias. Okay, what about Josh? Please tell me you have something on him. Josh Raymond. Live data, weak signal. Dallas, Texas. The tracker for Josh Ramon is showing a weak connection. Can we get a position on him? Is there any biomedical data showing? The location of Josh Ramon is unknown. Is there any sensible data coming through for him? There is no biomedical data being received for Josh Ramon. I don't understand. Maybe there is some interference. May, we've got a fix on Jim. He's in the Salute somewhere. Good. Get him to sort this mess out. Tell him he owes me an explanation. Wait. It looks like your cameras in the Russian arm are offline. Let me get that for you now. Get a visual on the captain for me, Sam. Where is he? There's an astrophysics terminal and a crew bunk here. Let's just start Russ 01. Let's let's just do what they say. They want us to get a visual, let's do that, and then we'll come back and actually explore. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Register error to crew via station alerts. Camera error. The cameras in RU6 are failing to initialize. Okay, I can do that now actually. That's them online. Aha! Uh -huh. Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS 6. We should be able to access the Russian arm now. Jim, it's Emma. I have your location. I'm heading to you now. They're not moving. They look still as a stone. Not the slightest bit of movement. Whoa, <laughs> what just happened there? Damaged. Shit. Let me think. 
Get in and open this hatch from the other side. Gotcha. On it. The schematic for the Russian hatches is on the laptop. Hurry, Sam. I'm doing it. On the laptop. Is there a laptop next to you or this one? Probably this one. Needs a password. I was expecting that. I saw a password on the back of it. Upside down. 9338. intact, I think. Message from Drew. Whatever happens next, thank you. All of you. I don't mean to be cryptic. Sorry. Okay. Lock three... Starts at the top left, right, down, left, down, 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 right, right, down, left, okay, right, down, left, down, 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 right, yes, there you go. I think they're dead. to you, he can wirelessly connect. There's another sphere in RUSO2 next to the airlock. Use that. Okay, I think now is a good time to explore. I don't think we're under any time pressure in particular. I know May's out there and running on oxygen, but they'll be fine, won't they? They'll be fine. What does that post-it note say over there on the left side of the screen? I can't go any more that direction. Oh, it's so weird the way this camera doesn't move left and right. It rotates clockwise and counterclockwise. for that. I don't see a power cord. Oh, 
Koru Remote Viewer. What is this? System reset. Calibration mode active. User Jim Elias. Elias. Test calibration mode set to active. Confirmed, confirmed, confirmed. All systems nominal, ready for module separation. Oh, is that the power? Aha! Uh -huh. In response to Emma, please, my dear Sim. Hello, Emma. I am trapped at my station at request of the captain. So, the doctor duties you like so much must wait, I'm afraid. I'm wondering if you can help me with something, however. I've been working on the guidance and navigation coordination for days now, and we're heading to a particular point of orbit that was not on our standard path. Do you know if Elsa or Josh has requested a move? I tried to ask Jim, but he brushed it off with a not now, Stars. Something is going on. Message ends. Oh, four. Ah, oh, right, the astrophysics terminal. Unavailable. Oh, those cats again. Someone brought multiple copies of that picture of their cats. That's beautiful. Ooh, all that camera equipment. Massive lenses. Field server. Don't know what that really did. Oh, can I read that? I can't go any more right. Ooh, I can. Station functionality review. I've performed the first station functionality review as scheduled now that the mission has been active for one full calendar month. I must be candid here. I believe the committee would be disappointed with these results if they weren't already aware. I've liaised with the crew prior to launch and again since, and the general consensus is that the station does not have the required equipment and functions required for allocated missions. The expectations were that this was a flagship station with state-of-the-art hardware, but what we're seeing in the new sections of the ship is very bare. The Universal Ring is barely functional beyond providing access. These rooms are lacking in equipment, and its clear corners have been cut. I would ask RCSA to liaise with the committee, EASA and CASA, in order to better understand why the station is so poorly equipped compared to the spec we had trained for. Are we expecting additional equipment to be shipped up after an undisclosed delay? If not, then either we've been badly let down by our friends in the committee, or they want to keep the cost of this mission as low as possible. I'm happy to go on the record with these statements, as the facts contained within this review are sufficient evidence to the claim. Stanislav Leonov, Observation Technical Officer. So they knew even before they were launched. Like, Houston knew even before launch that this ship and the people on it were going to be sacrificed, kind of? That's what it sounds like. They didn't even want to put too much resources into it. Oh, far field and near field. I only turned on the far field before. Does that make this work now? Uh, nope.
five. Message for Jim, please, Sam. Hey, Jim. I didn't want to say it out loud in front of everyone, but Emma and Josh are pretty tight these days, and I'm thinking I should move Sleep Station to give them some space. I've spoken to Ailsa, and she says she'd be fine with me emigrating over to the China module. Needs your sign-off, though, Captain. Reminds me of our time back on the ISS. And message. Emigrating to China. I guess in a way, true. So is that what that one message was talking about? It's not your imagination? Will get you to change sleeping positions? Uh, sleeping stations? Give them some space? So the it that they weren't imagining was the relationship? And finally, here. Whoa, wait, what? Uh, that's left shift. That's not listed in the controls, is it? Uh, oh, I think that button that says system links. I think that's the left shift. I don't know, I find their control uh, icons confusing. I was confused by the one that said X, but wasn't X. There's even, I actually went on the website of the developer and there was actually a, a note in, I think, the FAQ for this game, actually specifically talking about like what to do if you're stuck at that first document and you can't exit out. And they talked about how that's, they thought that was a, a like the universal symbol for um, backspace. Like they were happy with it. Uh, yeah, apparently that was backspace. I get the arrow going left is backspace, but not the X. But, and also tab works as well, so both backspace and tab do double duty there. Anyway, system links, it's a super cool view. I don't know if it's really that useful though, to be honest. Oh, we can see May outside. Are there any other? Controls that I just have totally missed. Response mode, disconnect, possess sphere. No, I think that's it. All right, let's go help me. I think I ignored this location entirely because this is where the sphere is. Actually, I think I need to explore it. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. That's weird. A series of numbers where they're just adding four to it every time. Just 
Actually, since we can go to the sphere, why explore this place with the camera? In fact, I wonder if there's stuff I've missed because I was exploring those places with the camera and not the sphere. Ooh. Could be, but like, probably not. There might be some documents like this that you can't really reach with the camera. Or are hard to see with the camera. Stanislav sketch. Number one is station rotation. Always same scope target. Number two, standard orbit. Number three is new orbit path takes us to the scope target. Uh, I'm going to go explore the places we just looked over using the sphere, but I'll do it off camera and bring you back if I find anything new. Oh, actually, I can't get out of this room to explore the rest. This hatch control just can't be accessed with the sphere and uh, I can't. Like, I opened the hatch that leads to number two from number three, but you can see there's a huge hallway. And there's there's stuff in between that I can't access. So even opening the hatch over there isn't this hatch that I actually need to get through. It's some other hatch. Okay, Sam. I'm patched into your sphere feed now. She should be able to link to the sphere and hear us. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my god, Sam, that's her. Is she okay? She's moving. Wait. What's her? Where, where exactly was I looking? Ah! There you are! Sneaky little booger. I know there is a way of resetting them out here, but I'm not sure how I need stars. May, I'll send Sam to reset the hull contact points. I had the same issue in the EAS arm. If he can fix them, you can head back inside instead of having to move around all the way to the EAS airlock. Okay, Sam, reset the hull contact points between China and Universal, please. CN01 hatch clamps. Is this CN01? Ah, here we go. Ah, right, this. so I can update her. She should be able to access Shenzo again. May, Sam sorted it out. You can get back inside and meet me in Universal now. Okay, okay, I much prefer that option. Sam seems to think... May? The storm. You're breaking up. I'm heading back to CN3. I'll be with you soon. Sam, you're seeing this? May? Get back inside now. The storm on the planet is...
Hey, Sam, I got you in another sphere. I don't know what just happened, but I feel... I feel like I've changed. And that's not the only thing to have changed. Take a look. Someone is coming to get us, Sam. I'm not sure how much of this I can take. They're just hanging there. Well, UC2 is pressurizing just now. Let's try to contact them in the meantime. Assuming they aren't all dead. Look, I know this makes no sense. And you'll probably just give me some broken response. You're here, sir. I am here, Emma. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you are, aren't you? One more time, Sam. Voice authenticate. Emma Fisher. One four zero four one two. No voice print match detected. Why do I feel like there's a copy of Emma? A copy of the space station? The other station looks just like this one, doesn't it? It's rather odd. We're online. Okay, let's see. Well, we still have some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. External comms looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we are going to need two things. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. And the astrophysics lab may have some answer to that. Secondly, our broadcasts won't go anywhere without the captain's authorization code. I'm guessing we can find that in his personal module, EAS-7. Let me know what the authorization code is so that I can enter it into the system. You will need to set up the comms array yourself, though. If there are any new station alerts, be sure to let me know. I may be able to action some repairs now. Alright, we have our assignments. I think this is a pretty good place to end it, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to try to establish communications with the other station.